Okay, welcome to Applying Measurement Units, that's outcome M2. This is the second video. This time we are going to be converting between what's called SI and Imperial. Now the Imperial system, that's feet, yards, inches, that kind of thing. SI, that's French for Système International, which is really the metric system. Okay, so we've seen before the Imperial unit conversions that's at the top here. One foot is 12 inches, one yard is 36 inches, etc., etc. Now, at least those are integer conversions, but they're not really round. But we've seen before this great system called metric, which converts really quite straightforwardly. One meter is 100 centimeters, and so on and so forth. Everything's a nice 1 to 10, or 1 to 100, or 1 to 1,000. And so it's easy to do those conversions. But we're going to be stuck here because we've got a big problem. What if I want to convert between imperial and metric. That's going to be a little bit messy. Okay, so in class you should have received, or you will receive, this beautiful little handout here, which gives us approximate conversions uh, from imperial to SI. Now these are approximate conversions. They aren't the exact conversions. And there's reasons why we only use approximate conversions, which we'll get into in a bit. You can also find this in your textbook in section 1.3. Okay, so we're going to do two questions. The first question here is approximately how many feet is 27 meters? Okay, if you look on your sheet or in your textbook, you will see that one meter is listed as being equivalent to three and one quarter feet. Now we should be careful. It's not equal. So we put a little dot above. That signifies that this is approximately true. The reality is slightly different from this. So one meter is approximately three and one quarter feet. We can now use this conversion in order to answer our question. 27 meters times three and one quarter feet per meter is equal to, well, let's see. First off, we will cancel out the meters. Second off, we will notice that this is approximate, so we'll put a dot above our x equal sign. And third, we just simply calculate it away. 27 times 3 and a quarter. If you type that in, or do it on the side, you will get 87.75 meters. Okay? Now, you might not be satisfied with an approximate amount. The real amount, well, 27 meters is really 88.58 feet. And I realize I have an error here. I should have said that's 87.75 feet, of course. Okay, now take a look at those two numbers. You notice how close they are together. 87.75 versus 88.58. We can arrive at 87.75 quite easily because of a quick, simple conversion. 88.58 is going to require a more precise conversion table. And if you want more precise conversions, like you're building a building or something like that, and you don't want to be off by a couple of feet or a couple of inches, well, you want to make sure that you use a more precise conversion. Okay, so again, we'll use an approximate conversion here to answer this question, which is further, 62 miles or 98 kilometers. To answer this question, we want to turn one of these values into the other unit. So we're going to use 62 miles and we're going to convert it to kilometers. Well from our conversion table we see that one mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers. So this is going to be quick. 62 miles times 1.6 kilometers per mile. All right, we'll cancel out the miles and we get an approximate number of kilometers. Okay, so 1.6 times 62 gives you 99.2 kilometers. Now, what is it in reality? If we didn't do this approximately, 62 miles is really 99.7793 kilometers. Okay, so our approximate wasn't that far off. And in fact, the reason why we can do this is because we know that one kilometer using the exact conversion is 0 0.62137119223767 
miles. And even this is an approximate conversion. Okay, so when you're converting between systems here, you're always going to have to use some kind of approximation and you're going to have to just live with some level of uncertainty. Now, if you look at 99.2 versus 99.77, that's probably good enough for our purposes because the question is just asking us to compare this number to 98 kilometers. So which is the longer amount? Well, 99.2 definitely is lo longer than 98. So we could say our answer is that 62 miles is farther. Now, if we were trying to do things with absolute precision, we wouldn't use the conversion table. We would go and use a much more precise conversion table and get 99.7793 kilometers. But that just depends on the level of precision that you want in a particular circumstance.